Let's talk about my walking stick. I did a lot of YouTube watching on steam bending wood, considered making a steam box and heat and straighten this walking stick. It's got character just like it is. It's a little bit too long. So if I shorten it a little more, say to right about there, it'll be considerably straighter and closer to the right length it needs to be. Now, I'm not no expert carver, but I feel like I could carve initials pretty good. What about you know, I talked about maybe a wood spirit in there. That'd take some talent. And I might try to tackle that. But I'm thinking more or less on some letters like P. Walpar. It's definitely nice and hard. But right now... Hmm. I think I'll just saw it off right here. Take four more inches off of it. We can always straighten it later on. I could go all the way to here. That would be quite a bit took off. It would also be quite a bit straighter. Alright. We're going to right there. I'm going to do it right now before I change my mind. Hold still, stick. Right there, big guy. I got these little strips of sandpaper I acquired from the Lord knows where. Little pieces, but I'm going to put them to use. Work on my walking stick a little bit. Spend some time today sitting here getting it ready for a coat of stain. Well, I'm working on it anyway. Doesn't have to be real super smooth. Just smooth out the rough edges would be good enough for me. That's some real rough stuff right here I'm trying to knock off. This is a job that just requires a little patience. If this was any kind of good camera, this GoPro, I'd be concerned about it because I'm getting sawdust all over it. But I ain't. I ain't real concerned about it. I'm just sitting here sanding out some of these places. You can see where the bark was. And as long as I got it down smooth, something like that will stain up just fine. I don't have to have it down to perfectly raw wood, but... Over here where I didn't carve the bark off good and it's rough, it's best to sit here and spend some time smoothing that out, knock out some of these knife marks where I scraped all the bark off with a knife. I just think it'll take a stain better. I've sanded about a foot of it so far. I had done some carving up at this end and I can't quite get all that out. Because I've decided I'm not going to carve it. What little marks and dents and scrapes still in here when I stain it? Just give it a look, give it more character. Well, my friends, I've sat here on the bench and sanded on this thing for a good hour and a half, two hours. And it's feeling smooth. I mean, I've got plenty of little bumps and nicks and scratches, but. I think it's probably smooth enough to stand. I'm going to take it down to the workbench and round off these corners a little bit on the grinder and just leave it flat on top. Then I think we'll throw a coat of stain on it and see how she looks on the first coat of stain.
Well, looking around out here in the garage, I got two cans of stain. We got golden oak. And darker red something. Red oak, I guess. We're going with red oak. Been sitting a long time, so I'm sure. Oh, that's not the ingredients on the bottom of the can. That's a rag. Well, that ought to do some good staining if I could stand to touch it with my fingers. Wonder where my rubber gloves are. I think we better use a brush. I'll never get that stain out of my fingers. You can put it on with a rag if you got some rubber gloves, which I ain't got handy. That ought to be good enough. This ain't rocket science. We're going to put a good coat of stain on this booger bear. Let her soak in some before we wipe it off. I know and you know I'll be wearing some of this when I get done. Question is how much will I be wearing? Do we want it darker than that? Sure we do. Yes, sir. Walter has it on his fingers. Well, for better or worse, my walking stick's going to be a red oak. See if we can get us a nice coat of varnish on there when it gets dried for a day or two.